Hey there, everybody. This Thelma here. And while I was gone in Vegas, <laughs> I had a good time in Vegas. I heard about a little situation between Comcast and some bitch. I mean, I, I mean some guy named Tick. So I'm here with Comcast and I, and I, and, um, I just want to get the, 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 the full story oh, yeah. of what we happened get the story. And, and what's going on. Yeah. So, comical. Yes, ma'am. You tell me what really happened uh, when you I were could that, do that bitch. I mean, yeah. you and Tech. <laughs> well, you see what happened was I made a video, right? And right. I was using him as an example mm -hmm. about people that be whining and bitching about views. Yes, they always and, cry. And subs. And, um, and nothing I said in the initial video or any other video I said about this bitch nigga was a lie. Why I was would you using have him to lie? as an example. So then right. he says that one of his boys <laughs> told him that they saw the video. What I think it is that bitch nigga saw my video himself. Right. And made up a story somebody told him about it so <laughs> so that he had so a reason to respond. You know, just some misdemeanor bullshit. Right. But I also heard that even after he 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 even uh helped you out, I heard. Help me out. Because he made a video that I guess he, he thought was like a major diss oh, to you. Oh, you that misfit He called shit? you a comical misfit. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, also, during the time that he made the little punk-ass video, another little nigga oh, you talking came about up Jazzy out the woodwork nigga. by the name of Jazzy J. So what do you have, have to say about that oh, new development? Man. All I got to say is, uh-oh, you know what? Whenever videos like this surface where it's two people that's going at each other. Right. You know, niggas will jump in the comment section. Every time. And because it's they boy video, they they tend to talk shit about the other person when they, when they don't know the intricate details of what's right, really popping right. off. So mm -hmm. this little nigga, Jazzy J., was just running his little little mouth when he needed to stay on his fucking skateboard. <laughs> stay on nigga. his skateboard. <laughs> stay the fuck out of grown folk business. Yeah. You know, and and that's all I got to say about that. No, it's not. I got you something got, to say. Jazz J okay. is a little sensitive little, little nigga. No. Because I remember a time when uh, me and Dad, man, was in a party just fucking with the nigga. And he acting like... He was about to motherfucking cry and shit and backed out of the Xbox Live party. See, no, he did not. See, see wow. man, I don't, I don't fuck with soft niggas like that. Exactly. Man. So that's all I got to say about that, man. Y'all niggas need, you need to stay in your fucking lane, man. Unless a motherfucker pull your fucking string or call your goddamn name, shut the fuck up. Now, also, we have something else to address. Out oh, you got some more for me? It okay. was a little story looming around that town. Right. Man. Tick had some line rider friends, oh, and man. and he co-signs on the line rider shit that's popping off. Man. So I just wanted just to ask you what you know about this situation, and if you can speak on that situation for me, please. Okay, here we go. Um, you know, Tick Tick was cool with somebody else, so right. that's how I met. Met the little line, line riding little motherfucker. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Oh, but really what yeah. happened was, was some of my peoples was in a party. You know, they was in a party with Tick. And Tick had some of his friends in the party too. So when I hopped in the party, I heard somebody call my name that wasn't my peoples. Right. And right. they asked me a gay ass question. No. So I was like, what the fuck? I was like, Look here, bro. I'm not even much with that shit, and I back the fuck out the party. Well, it was Tick friends, so I was like, "Yo, Tick man, shit, I don't fuck around, fuck around with that shit." Well, it come to find out that Tick be chilling in these parties while he talking about penis and no and and grabbing a friend penis and putting no. it in their mouth and shit. I'm like, man, hold up, man. Real real dudes don't talk like that. Right, real people don't <laughs> you know get down saying? like real, that. Right, real, real dudes. There's real dudes don't even joke like that. Exactly. You get your ass mauled. Oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Molly wop for even playing. <laughs> Molly wop. <laughs> Tell another man to suck your dick. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm saying. These, these, these are the type of people. 
that Tick hang with. That's okay for him. So he's a line rider. I think that he's a line rider and he don't even know it yet. But Tick is gay. So that's all I got to say about <laughs> that. So you talking about exposing people, Tick? Well, you've just been exposed. Mm. You want more, little nigga? Do you want more? <laughs> mm. That's all I got to say about that, man. Tick, fuck you. Fuck Jazzy J. Y'all two niggas need to hook up and get married. Two sensitive <laughs> ass niggas. <laughs> Well, ladies and gentlemen, y'all have it directly from the horse's mouth. There shouldn't be any more questions or any or or anything left to question. So, Tick, you've just been exposed, and Jazzy, I don't, I don't even know who you is, little nigga. But anyway, <laughs> damn, what a hell of a thing to come back to after leaving Vegas. I had a good time, y'all. Y'all have a good evening. This has been a late night Thelma's testimonial. I'm out here, y'all. Bye-bye.